Okay, hello guys. I welcome you to the channel Motor Bene Tech on Tube yet again with the, the continuation of the videos primarily based on aircraft understanding, different concepts related to the aircraft stability, control, and also uh, the lectures. And we have uh, actually taken uh, an example or a numerical from uh, the paper already been actually set by Professor E. G. Tula Pukara about the fluid dynamic stability and control from IIT Madras and it is a numerical as we have covered so many uh, concepts from IIT Kanpur and just from the professor A.K. Ghosh and just on the basis of that I'm just taking another institute and uh, just taking a random paper and a random numerical just to say where we stand as far as the understanding of the concepts is concerned and, and their application is concerned. So the question is about for an airplane, the pitching moment coefficient is given by the following expression when CG lies at 0.25 of aerodynamic chord and CM uh, of uh, CG is given by this expression, okay, which is uh, the pitching moment uh, coefficient also been provided by this and also it is in uh, you can see that this is the whole expression 0 0.05 minus 0 0.01 CL, okay, which is the uh, coefficient uh, lift uh, coefficient, and also for 0 0.001, which is uh, also uh, delta E at the end. Normally, it is uh, supposedly it is given by this, but in this example, it is set by the professor like this, where delta E is in degrees. So the question and answer, the question is, where you have to answer is the plane statically stable, justify. First question is this, second is what is the static margin in this case, what is the location of neutral points that uh, stick fixed and what is the value of CL for which equilibrium is achieved with zero elevator deflection. Number five is what is the value of elevator effectiveness and number six is if the elevator deflection is limited to uh, plus minus 25 which is the Delta max, locate the most forward CG location for which trim is obtained at CL is equal to 1.5 in free light and CL is trim of trim lift coefficient. Okay, that is CL. So we're going to see that how well we can perform. I've actually tried it. Let's see how I can see we can do it light for the video purposes. Let's perform. Is the plane statically stable? First question. So as you know that uh, we're going uh, to provide uh, the same, uh, we can say the uh, equation which is numerically CM, numerically so CMCG, so you can also write it like CM of naught plus CM alpha of alpha plus CM delta E by delta E and that can also be written CM, CM naught plus CM L of CL plus CM delta E into delta E and over, over here it has been written as CM CG is equal to uh, 0 0.05 plus minus 0 0.01 of CL and then it is point let's see it's point zero zero yes it's it's a point zero plus again point zero one into what it is delta E okay so that is normally uh, over here it has written as like this just for the clarification so these are the normally the same stuff you can write it either way so we're going to see number one questions says that is the plane statically stable to justify so for that reason as you know that from the lectures we have learned by the professor CM is equal to CL, you have for every, you have to calculate this CL which is the lift coefficient for by trim and this is CM. 
and uh, here how we're going to do this is the slope and uh, that is for d derivative of c l uh, c m by derivative of c l okay which must be negative it is a necessary condition which is the necessary condition okay for static stability static stability that is the necessary condition for static stability and right now we're going to cover like this if it is equation is given dcm over dcl that would be zero and that would be minus of point one and also that, that, that would be zero as well so cm over delta cl is equal to minus negative minus point one so that would be the condition as the necessary condition has been met so we're going to say that it is statically stable okay so that is the one question that we have done so far let me actually do it on the for the video purposes as well is it okay for you guys to see it properly so that is the first question the second question is the second question is what is the static margin in this case the static margin you know that from the lectures we have learned that static margin is negative of this okay so that means delta cl by delta cl minus minus 0.1 would be 0.1 so that would be static margin okay so the question two has already been done question part two already been actually performed so for part three the question says what is the location of neutral point stick fix okay so the neutral point stick fix so as you know that from our uh, studies that uh, how are we going to calculate a neutral point okay so for that reason uh, we have learned so far that uh, the neutral point is normally in the static margin how are we going to calculate the static margin static margin is the difference the distance between these CG and the neutral point so that whole distance is static margin okay so you can also as a percentage say that XNP minus XCG over aerodynamic card as a percentage is the static margin okay this is now I hope it is now clear so this is how we are going to do it so cm so let's see how we're going to calculate the neutral point so we have got the static margin which is 0 0.1 and for x neutral point and we have got the xcg like of the chord was 0.25 okay so that means the neutral point would be 0.1 plus 0.25 that would be 0.35 okay that would be the neutral point so that covers the question four uh, three part the next one is what is the value of CL for which equilibrium is achieved with zero elevated deflection? So that means for the equation we are going to say that uh, the value would be achieved because CMCG is equal to 0 0.05 
point one of CL, point zero one of delta E. So that means over here it will uh, zero deflection means CFO weight is achieved with zero elevated deflection. Zero elevated deflection means over here it will be zero. So this will be zero. So that means zero is equal to 0 0.05 minus 0 0.1 CL and that would be 0 0.1 CL into 0 0.05. CL would be 0 0.05 divided by 0.1. So 0 0.05 divided by 0.1 would be CL would be 0.5. That is question number four. And question number five says that what is the value of elevator effectiveness from this equation which we have already written. So this value is known as the elevator deflection which is Cm of delta E or in this case it is a Cm of like this. Okay, this is Cm delta E or Cm like this. You can over here it is written like this but obviously it is Cm delta E. So the result would be Cm this is equal to Cm delta E which is equal to 0 0.01. That would be negative and also in per degrees. Okay. So this is how you're going to do it for the question number six. You can actually correct me if I'm wrong on this part. If the elevator deflection is limited to uh, delta maximum plus 25, locate the most forward CG location for which frame is obtained at CL 1.5 in free light. So the equation as we have learned from our lectures that what is all about this? This is mean that for the given delta E, we have the most stable condition as XCG1, less stable would be XCG2 or with the lesser stability is it XCG3 and when you're going to do is like this, this will get us delta E negative and if you want to move more, that will provide us more negativity. So that would be delta E would be more negative. Okay. So that is the most stable one in case. For example, that is the neutral point from where it is 1, it is 2, and it is 3, and it is called the stick fix. Neutral point is that would be the most stable. Most stable. And the question is about the most forward CG location. Okay. So the formula for that is what? The formula has been actually written like this, which is delta E is equal to delta E naught plus minus of xcg minus of x naught over xcm delta cm delta e into cl of trim okay so this is how you normally use it so this one is the most forward cl or the cg most forward cg okay this is how you're going to calculate so putting it like this delta e is the maximum available Okay, but on that, when the maximum available is 25 degree and converting into radian would be 4.3 and minus XCG that we have to calculate and neutral point is 0.35, CM delta is already been extracted from the equation 0 0.01 and as also C it is also given 1.5. So 0.43 into 0 0.01 1.5 into minus xcg minus 0.35 and it is by doing the equation it is like this I have actually performed it well earlier so I am just doing it 0 